Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be covering this extreme drop in price that we have seen on Bitcoin, how I have and am still trading this and some of the signs that we can be looking for for a reversal because we have to thoroughly admit that this has been an extremely quick uh, decline in price, okay, and you want to be careful jumping in front of this because clearly it is going down at the moment, so I'm going to be highlighting some of those key regions and, you know, explaining how I am trading, so I Hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video obviously it's been a few weeks since my last update and that's because i've been pining hard in brazil uh very very nice country absolutely loved it but you know i must admit it's nice to be back it's nice to be back trading giving some updates so i hope that you are as happy as i am right now for this update so with that said <laughs> let's get into the charts um so yeah, I think the last public update that I done must have been while we were at around the low 9,000s, okay? So around the low 9,000s-ish, we must have been around mid 9,000s. I can't remember exactly. It's been a few weeks, but it must have been around here. Again, obviously, we had the uh, bearish Gartley pattern. Yes, of course, we had the bearish Gartley pattern, and that bearish Gartley pattern did play out, okay? Obviously, it, it got the drop down, and then you get the rise to the 618, and then you drop again, okay? And obviously, on top of that, you were going high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high. At this point, that wasn't like overly bearish. There was no reason to be like overly bearish at this point. It was really when you took the lows. You obviously can see here, you, you make another lower high. You drop out of this channel that I had. You had dropped out of that channel. You back tested the channel again and you go straight down through support. That is when it become like really, really, really bearish. Okay. But at this point, it wasn't like overly bearish it was just like uh neutral i would say so very neutral but then you lose this and it become very bearish market structure so this whole up this whole piece of the uptrend here which was obviously just a one-to-one -one extension uh you know there was nothing nothing at all this was a short that you know a short the rise opportunity 100 obviously ended in a swing failure pattern and you had another decline to the downside so over the last few weeks, okay, obviously I've been away for a few weeks um so, over the last few weeks i've been in a short position so for me personally uh, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed this move down. <laughs> uh, obviously, yeah, this was one of the things that got me pretty bearish was the, well, well, originally it was just this. Obviously, we had the bearish Gartley and obviously the Elliott wave count was pointing bearishly as if we had like five impulse waves in and we're looking for this ABC correction. Funnily enough, this comment did make me laugh. I'm sorry, uh, Jonta, <laughs> you will never long again. 7,200. Looks, looks like it could be hit, by the way, but it was on about 8,200. But um, yeah, here, here we go anyway. Um, Obviously, uh, I'm, I'm going to like show you some of the trades that I have been in. Just so I'm not one of those guys that's just been like, oh, yeah, I'm, I've been short all this time. But, you know, there's so many people that pretend that they have money on the line where they don't have money on the line. So I'll show you some of the um, updates from my last few live streams just to show you that, yes, I have been trading this very well indeed. This was the live stream from uh, one week ago on the last Champions live stream. Well, I was in a short position from 9K. As we dropped down, this was a compounded entry. Okay. And then obviously the... Uh, live stream from last night. This was then a new short position from last night's live stream uh, where I was in another uh, 100k short. So both those times in shorts and currently right now I'm in a new short position once again. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I'm still currently short on this account. So, um, you know, that's how I have been trading it. That's how I am trading it right now. It's, uh, you know, with shorts in mind. And uh, that's now, you know, now you can see how I have been trading this. Let's go over how I am look, how I'm looking, what I'm looking at here. Okay, so there's a few things that I think are really, really, really important. The first thing is, stands out straight away the double bottom that we've just formed. And I think this is massively important. You do not want to lose this low as a bull, okay? So that means we can swing failure pattern it. We can go through it and come back above, but you do not want to close below this really as 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 a as a bull, okay? You, you close below this double bottom now, and it's you know you're gonna got drop. You're gonna probably drop to seven thousand four hundred, seven thousand two hundred fairly swiftly, okay? Fairly swiftly indeed. And then that seven thousand two hundred is sort of the line in the sand, massive support level. You lose that, and it's very much likely. Okay, we we trade in probabilities. We don't trade in certainties. But we can say losing seven thousand two hundred is 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 very probable that we're making new lows uh, for the year, okay? So new lows past are obviously the lows at the start of the year. And, it's, you know, it's becoming very probable. Uh, the, the lower you come down, the more supports that you lose, the more likely that is to occur. But on the flip side, all we can say is we are going to be looking for a bounce. This is extremely now oversold. You you know, it's, it, 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 it's, it reaches the point where you keep coming down and coming down so fast. You are favoring a bounce, okay? And as you are coming into these regions, you are favoring a bounce. Does that mean you're going to long? No, okay? Absolutely not. 
I was favoring uh, bounces yesterday at 8,200. But as I was like mentioning on my live stream to everyone, I am not going to long here until we get a trend change. And my, my viewpoint is exactly the same as it is now. I'm not going to long this until I get a trend change. Okay, the chart needs to prove something to me. Okay, there's been many instances where you could have thought, okay, this is good support, this is good support, this is good support, this is good support. But until the chart actually proves to you that it's good support, what, why long? Okay, just, that's my question. Why long? Uh, it's kind of just like this. You know, rest in peace. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a bit harsh, I suppose. But, you know, it's a shame for all those people that have been trying to catch knives. Just keep it simple. Just keep it simple. Stay in a short position and literally just make money while this is going down. It's, it's really not hard at all. Over the last two weeks, I've taken one long position, and that long one long position was held for uh, like an hour, <laughs> okay? And all the rest of my trades have been shorts uh, because the shorts are favored. This is clearly heading down, okay? So with that all that said, okay, I've, I've highlighted how, you know, that this is looking bearishly. Where can, where can we expect a bounce, okay? And what has to say... If this can turn itself around, okay, I'd, I would more expect something along this sort of lines so of another test of the lows again before it even tries to turn around, okay. So rather than just going straight up, I'd expect another test of the lows, okay, or possibly one more, you know, test through the lows. But ultimately, I would expect another little drop, hence why I'm like staying in this short position. Obviously, I've, it's a really small short position for me, but nevertheless, still a short okay but on binance i'm all in tether right now as well but i have um you know so yeah that's how i'm looking at this i would like to see one more one more test of the lows it's because we need to see the buys okay we, we are seeing zero demand at the moment just the demand has just not been there okay <laughs> and and the supply very much so okay so you just look at this the supply is un, you know unreal high okay so we're, we're <sighs> yeah 49 million 133 million 63 110 million on this latest drop it's just massive 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 supply and until we actually see people wanting to buy we're going to come down lower now that's the thing it's all about supply and demand okay <laughs> this is why volume is so important and uh, until we can actually see anybody wanting to buy this we will drop lower to find buyers uh currently we have ended with a long lower wick but it's not enough it really is not enough you want to see at least the trend change okay um so you know i am you know, e uh, some somewhat, I suppose, somewhat eager to enter into a long position, uh, but I am not going to do it until the chart proves to me that this is a good long, okay? Because, you know, just as, you know, just I'm mentioning before, you know, there's been many times where you could have thought this is a good long, this is a good long, this is a good long. Guess what? They all ended in bad longs, unless they were for scope positions, you know, because there's obviously there's money to be made on these rises, this rise here, but ultimately, okay, for swing trades, the shorts are still favored, okay? And we're waiting for the chart to prove something to us. Uh, so that's sort of my opinion on this. So now we can go over a few bearish factors. You obviously have this head and shoulders pattern, okay? You have this head and shoulders pattern here, uh, which would bring you to around, okay, around, around, around. I'm looking at it as a slanted head and shoulders. So that would obviously bring you to, yeah, new lows around 6,200. On the flip side, though, I, you know, I, I must say at the moment, I'm, a, I'm more of a level to level trader. I don't, th you know, I don't believe we're going to 6,000 at the moment. But, you know, you start losing some of these supports and then obviously I favor that. But, and, you know, there's no point in looking for 6,000 while you have levels such as, well, 7,600, 7,200 ahead of you. There's just no, yeah, with the way I trade, there's no point in expecting 6,000 yet. On the flip side, that head and shoulders, you do obviously have this head and shoulders as well, <laughs> which you could possibly form as well. So you've got a few different head and shoulders. Obviously, they are a bit of like, they don't generally trade too well in crypto, but one of them is going to trade well. This head and shoulders, or yeah, sorry, this inversed head and shoulders, or this head and shoulders, one of them's going to trade well. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be very interesting times, which, which one wins. And I think there's no point in speculating so much at the moment. Oh, this is this is going to win. This is going to win. I think you want to trade it kind of the way I trade it, which is level to level. Wait till a level's been hit. Wait for the reaction off that level. Wait for some confirmation and take it from there rather than just guessing. Oh, this is going to hold. This is going to hold. You know, you want, you know, it's I've said so many times. You just wait for the chart to prove something to you. And you, you should not find it too difficult to make money. This this this, this chart is not being difficult to be to make, make, make money. To be honest, it's been pretty easy. Um. So a few things to bear in mind. Obviously, we had this gap. OK, so we have two gaps on the chart right now, which are locally. Uh, we have this one, which did not fill just by about uh, eight dollars. This low did not get filled. OK, so we obviously we're looking at this seven thousand six hundred seventy five gap. But it just did not get filled. So very slight front run of that gap fill. So very interesting. And you obviously have the massive gap, gap to the upside now. sat at nine thousand one hundred and thirty. Um, but yeah, the, the, yeah, that's just pointing that out. And I'd also like to point out gold because I feel gold is somewhat related, uh, correlated to um, 
Bitcoin. And this one is lovely, lovely, lovely indeed. I've been uh, expecting this somewhat to hit uh, 1,700 for a long time because it was the measured move of this triangle. OK, and we have actually hit that today and you you come down from it. So you can see this 1,700 rejections and you come back down. Obviously, though, you know, gold being a safe haven and the stock market. Well, look, at oil was down 30 percent, obviously recovering a bit now. But, um, you know, just massively massive moves down in the in the, you know, uh, you know, just like in the general stock market in, in general, obviously the coronavirus is causing somewhat of a scare to everybody. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I don't, as you all know, I don't trade based off of news. So I couldn't, honestly couldn't care less about the news. I'll trade the chart for what it is. Um, and, you know, regardless of what's happening on the outside world, this, this chart here has been favoring shorts really since you come down and lost this channel once again and really then once you took the 9,000 lows 9,200 lows you know you come into that bearish market structure it's just been um you know it has definitely favored shorts and as i've shown you before like you know <laughs> I've, I've been favoring those shorts um but yeah um yeah so i think that's about all i wanted to cover i wanted to cover how i have been trading this just to show you like what my thought process was i'm sure that helps like really it was this mainly the bearish garlic i'll try and find it one more time because it was such a good trade, okay? I'm sure you've seen it, but uh, da, 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 try and find it. Yeah, it was this. Obviously, your bearish Gartley pattern. Obviously, that was up from 10K. Obviously, nailed that. But, um, yeah, it all started from this. And then once you had that bearish Gartley and you lost the bear, you, you entered fully bearish market structure, this rise here was just a one-to-one -one extension. As you can see, low, high, low, one-to-one, -one, straight down again. You're currently dropping right now. No reason for me to close out of this. I might compound it. I kind of want a bigger position. But, um yeah, and then on the flip side, where we're looking for potential supports, because I think at the moment you just want to be looking at supports, and I would say really you're looking at eight, 7,800. So 7,800, obviously your low, which you can either want to, you want to see that low hold and come up back up and take the highs for the trend change. Alternatively, you want to see the swing failure of the low and back above, but I'd still wait for the trend change. Or thirdly, come down to around 7,400, because that's where you're getting going to get your around this like head and shoulders, okay? I mean, inverse head and shoulders, sorry, 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 uh, or alternative, yeah, 7,200. Those are like some key support levels. There's no point in me saying, well, we're definitely going here, we're definitely going here, but I've, what I've tried to do with this video is just give you an idea of levels where you can be looking at for potential support. All I would say is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and all that, but um, levels that I am looking, because uh, I am looking for a long, but, uh, you know, I've been looking for a long a while, but I'll, I'll, I'll look for my long while happily sat in short positions. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to be looking for this long after a trend change maybe if we can you know i'd say a big 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 resistance is really clearly 8400 at the moment so 8400 is clearly a big resistance point um you know and until you claim that i suppose really you can f f be pretty happy in shorts eight four eight thousand five hundred you can be f fairly happy in shorts um and then on, on the on the short term, it does look like where well, we are okay so it's not just like it looks like but we actually are we're still pushing down so um not really too much of a surprise um, on the grand scheme of things. I think New York Open is going to be really, really, really key. So we can we can wait till New York Open, okay? Uh, if, if you if you like want a bit of confirmation here, wait till New York Open. See how New York opens, okay? See how the stock market opens. Does it surprise? I think it would be a massive surprise if it does, but that, it could could happen. Does it surprise where the where the dip gets bought up massively and we see a green day? If that's the case, then uh, obviously I don't like to say there's a correlation between the stock market and, and Bitcoin, to be honest. But, uh, you know, if, if that is the case, we could see a little bit of a recovery attempt. So I think my, myself personally, I will wait till New York Open before I even think, even think about taking a long. So I'm not too keen to rush into one. Um, but, yeah, I, I will wait for, for that uh, to, to occur. So, uh, yeah, New York Open, pretty key. Keep your eye on that. Well, this this potential head and shoulders already played out. We've already broke that neckline. So if you shorted that, you made money. Uh, and then you can keep your eye on this potential inverse head and shoulders for a reversal. But I think you want to be a bit bit cautious. Wait for a bit of confirmation. At least New York Open. See how that goes. Um, and yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful. Uh, today, if you have any questions, then drop them down below in the comments. And I'll be sure to get back and help you. Um, and yeah, thank you, everybody. I must say it is nice to be back i hope that you uh have enjoyed this update and uh yeah thank you once again and um yeah cheers everybody have a brilliant day i hope that you have made some money on this bitcoin on this bitcoin drop 
I guess it's not been too hard of a short to be honest. So there, yeah, it's not been not been difficult. So I hope that you have hopefully made some money. If not, then you know always always strive to learn more. Uh, if you know if you have messed up on this on this drop drop, maybe you longed the job or you didn't short the job, then you know it's a learning experience, and you just got to take every loss or every mistake as a learning experience and learn from that. Don't beat yourself up about it. You know it's just part of the game. You just got to move on move on move on learn 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 and eventually you will reach a level where you are content where you're happy on your trades where you're making money and that's where you want to be so uh yeah thank you once again everybody cheers and goodbye bye